Hi, so I've um, been out taking photographs this morning. Um, this is a video slightly different than I've ever done before. I was out taking photographs this morning and I was thinking about the different gadgets that I've, um, that I've bought over the years. Some very happy with, some I'm absolutely not happy with and wish I'd never bought. Um, however, there's a couple of standout um, gadgets that I have bought and I'm very pleased with and I'd like to go over some of them. Now bearing in mind these are these are things that I've bought and used on a regular basis and still use on a regular basis and I'm still very happy with them. So the first one I'm going to talk to you about is this um, gadget here. It's called a Wally Max um, Pro. And it's a clamp that goes on your belt buckle, or not on your belt buckle, but on your belt uh, or on a strap in your rucksack or camera bag or whatever. And it basically makes it easier to access your camera. So it comes in three pieces. You just undo the screw at the top, which is pretty simple actually, just undo the screw and then you've got this piece that goes behind the belt or the strap and you've got this piece that goes in front of the belt or the strap and these two pieces here hook up inside, the belt is between and then you just tighten it up like that and that's it, it's fixed. So imagine your belt is going through this slot here. Then this piece goes on the base plate of the camera or L bracket or whatever with this little screw here. You can tighten it up using this little bit here. And then this part is important because that's what hooks in to here. Okay, um, when the camera is attached, it's easy to remove. You just press this button on the side and lift it out and that's it. You can use your camera, you don't need a camera strap or whatever when you're carrying your camera around. And then when you decided you've had taken enough photographs or you want to walk around further without carrying, actually holding the camera, you just hook it into the camera, into the slot like that. It won't come out, it's secure. You press the button, it comes back out. So I'm going to attach this to the camera and then I'll show you it with the, with the camera on it. So I'm going to attach this part to the camera and then I'll show you it working with the camera attached on the belt. Definitely recommend it. Uh, not that expensive, much cheaper than other versions of similar things. Um, I bought it for two reasons. One, it is absolutely solid and it was cheaper than the other versions that I've seen online. Um, if I can get something that's a reasonable price and does the job, that's what I'm going to go for. I'm not interested in who makes it. Okay, so here is it. Uh, I'll show you it working on the belt strap. So what you do is you just separate these two pieces. Put the back plate behind your belt. Take these two pieces, put them in there. And that's it, solid on your belt. You'll then attach this to the L bracket or the base plate of your camera, which is pretty simple to do and then what you do when it's attached is you just hook it on like that so and then to release it you press this button take it out it works exactly the same on the camera bag strap or rucksack strap the interesting thing that I found which I liked was that even with this on, this will still go on the tripod. 
So even with even with this still attached, it still goes on the tripod. There you go. And as you can see, it's connected. And there you can see it from the back with it just hanging down at the edge of the tripod plate. Okay, now, now that you've seen it working on both the bell and the camera rucksack, if it's something you uh, think you could benefit from using, um, pick one up online. They're very reasonable. I think it was 29, 39 euros uh, at the time. And uh, there is a link in the description. So the next item uh, that I wanted to go over was something that I carry with me all the time and you've seen me using regularly on other videos is this little remote uh, for my Sony uh, the Sony A7 III that I use on a regular basis it's a JCC remote control and basically it's got um, a shutter button, it's got a delay of two seconds shutter and you can also use it to start and stop video which is very nice um, probably the best 10 euros I ever spent um, I did learn something new about this uh, the other day I was out taking photographs and I needed to take um, a shutter speed that was longer than 30 seconds so um, I set the camera to bulb and realised that I didn't have my cable release with me. Um, a locking cable release that I could trip the shutter, leave the shutter locked open and get the exposure that I needed. And the exposure that I needed was like a minute and a half. Um, and what I did is I gave this a try. I thought, I don't know if this will work or not, but I gave it a try and it actually works. So you press it once to open the shutter when the camera is set to bulb and then you press it again to close the shutter at whatever time that exposure is um, excellent little gadget definitely recommend it um, and again there's a link down in the description great value for money works great um, works with all of the A7 series, A9, A1, also works with the Sony A6 series cameras, or many of them. Um, and if you don't want this one, there's plenty online for Canon or whatever, Nikon or whatever that you use, but definitely something to think about when you're outside taking landscape photographs. So I'll move on to the next item. The next item that I wanted to talk to you about was something that I um, had thought about getting for a long time and it's a water filter system and I didn't know which water f system to buy um, however I came across this uh, a while back and it's the Grail GeoPress um, Not the cheapest um, system on the market, but definitely the most convenient. And I like the colours as well. So um, basically how this works is you, you just undo the top. You take, the, you take the, this section out. There you go. And this is the filter that you use. Um, it holds 24 ounces of water. Uh, so it holds plenty of water and what you do is you fill this section up to this line here with um, the water at source so pond water, river water, wherever you can get water basically obviously the cleaner you can get the water the better if it's full of rubbish um, try and filter that out somehow but generally speaking you can put anything in this um, and it cleans the water um, 
gets rid of all the viruses and heavy metals, everything. So basically what you do is you fill that to the line with the water, you then insert this section like that, open this to let the, let the air out so that the water can go through the filter into this section. And then what you do is, I don't want to stand up, but then what you do is you just get this, press it down slowly, like that. And then when you've done that, all the water has been filtered. And it's now in this section, it's now in, in the... It would then now be in this section, all the water, it would be cleaned. And then all you need to do is undo that and you can drink it. Obviously, it won't look like that because that will be in there. So then you would just drink it. Um, the biggest benefit of using this um, that I've found is that when you're out walking, generally you never seem to have enough water. Um, and even if you've got a camel pack or water pack or something, you, the water gets warm and I, there's, I hate warm water. Uh, so I'm lucky in the respect that I can just go to a river or whatever, scoop up some water, filter it and drink it. And in the many occasions what I do is I filter the water through here, empty it into this, this is my water bottle, and drink it from this here, which means this is now empty. And then I fill this up again, which means I've got two bottles of water uh, to last me to the next water source. Um, great gadget, pricey, but worth the money. That's the Grail GeoPress. The next uh, item that I wanted to talk to you about is maybe not landscape specific, but if you're doing YouTube videos about landscape photography, then it's important that you get your sound right. And um, I really struggled with getting sound sorted out uh, until I bought this microphone here. And it's been excellent. It's a little radio mic. It comes from a company called Movo, and it's called the WMX-1 wireless. So basically, I'm speaking into this microphone, it's through this cable, into here. It's then transmitted to the one that's on top of that camera, and then it's fed into the camera and recorded by the camera. Great little piece of gear, um, and I've not tested it um, fully. I've never really thought about it, but apparently it works up to 200 meters away. Um, I have used it maybe at about 50 feet, which is what, 15 meters, 16 meters, which is a pretty decent distance and works no problem. So the Movo um, WMX, dash one is what I use and it works really well. I've got no complaints with it. The sound has been a great improvement for me. Um, I will attach um, a piece of video from one of my earlier videos where the sound was horrendous because I was using the, the microphone in the camera. One of the most difficult things for new photographers or relatively new photographers to grasp is depth of field. Um, how the aperture affects it and so on. Uh, what I've done here is I have set up a camera with a standard 50mm lens and I've focused on a point in this ruler at 12 centimeters. The improvement is amazing. So if you're in the market for a wireless um, microphone system, this might be something to consider. Again, there's a link in the description. Okay, so this is the Movo WMX-1 wireless um, microphone. Basically, um, let's take this out. 
basically when you get it, it comes in a little pouch like this. Um, you open it up and what you see is this and also your microphone. So you get a microphone like this with a little clip. You get a cable that you use to put um, from the receiver into the camera. You get a transmitter and you sorry you get a transmitter and you get a receiver you also get a, an attachment that allows you to connect it to the camera uh, or a tripod a little hot shoe mount and this one you get a belt clip uh, basically what you do is you just stick that on there and hook it onto your belt through this here that's basically what you get and if you don't get very good sound on this part of the, the this part of the video it's because I'm not using this it's because I am using the internal camera internal microphone of the camera so you can see the difference in quality between this part of the video and other parts of the video when I am actually using this Okay, so there you go. So the next item I wanted to uh, mention is something that I've been looking for for a long time. And it's a carbon fibre tripod um, from Artsis. Um, I bought it on Amazon. Um, it was delivered quickly and when I got it, I was very happy with it, um, just from the feel of it. And this is it here. So I've got a, I've, I've put a ball head on it, but this is it here. Um, it's pretty big, um, even when it's at its minimum. And it's got three, um, twist locks on it basically which means it's got four sections it's got this section here this section this section and the lower section um, the lower section is probably as strong as some of the tripods that I've bought um, in the upper sections the upper, upper sections were probably only this wide this is this is pretty wide, wide and the strength is excellent It's been a great tripod so far. Um, it comes with a few extra gadgets. Um, the nice thing about it is I like this here where it's got this piece in the center and you can rotate. It's got this bowl attachment. So when you set up your tri when you set up your camera, you can um, make minor adjustments without undoing the ball head or whatever. Um, I will be doing a complete review of each of these items later um, in the coming weeks. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for them. But if you're in the market for any of these items, um, I've, put like, I've put links for each one in the description. Check them out. Um, I'm new to promoting photography equipment on my channel so um, I will get some compensation from Amazon if you decide to go ahead and buy anything uh, but the fact that I would get compensation uh, hasn't influenced me in what I've decided to show you today I'm very happy with the, this equipment um, and if I wasn't happy with it I wouldn't recommend it so hopefully you found some of this helpful and if you have please like the video subscribe to my channel and that will help me out also um, till next time thanks very much and uh, goodbye